So there I was in California working corporate accounting job, not going to graduate school because it was impossible to live in such an expensive place without working full time. And I decided to look at my options when leaving California. Uh, one of the options was to go and find a graduate school program in psychology to enroll in. Um, and I explored that option quite a bit. And the other option was suggested to me by my aunt. Uh, my aunt Carolyn said, you know, you would be really good in real estate. She's been a realtor for 40 or so years, I don't know. Um, so she, she suggested that I look into that. And uh, that's exactly what I did. So while I was still living in California, I took the uh, Florida um, state license exam uh, or state licensing course and prepared for the exam. As soon as I arrived here in the South in June 2005, I went straight to sit for that exam, passed it, and then got my Alabama reciprocal license. So I'm licensed in both Florida and Alabama. And the biggest thing for me about getting into real estate was that I always felt like I was meant to be an entrepreneur. Even as a small child, I was always selling lemonade or coat hangers or fruit off trees or anything I get my hands on. Um, song lyrics on the school bus one time. Um, which weren't correct and I got in trouble for that. So just don't do that. Um, but you know, it was really about the chance to create my own life um, uh, the way that I want to live and that would be helping people and crafting my own schedule and being allowed to have time for family and friends and boating and going to the beach and that kind of thing. So it was a way for me to kind of start over with a new career that I felt like had unlimited potential.